my beautiful people welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Oluchi Iman on this channel I talk about cake business and I teach you tips and strategies on how to grow your cake business and also do a bit of personal development I share recipes as well and if you see my beautiful face for the first time you are warmly welcome to my channel I'm an international award-winning cake artist that is based in Manchester United Kingdom and I just want to welcome you if you've always been here thank you so very much for your support in today's video, I'm going to be showing you, trying to show you, <laughs> actually showing you how to take pictures of your cakes so that you can present them in the best light and it would have a professional look to it as well. I know that I did a video where I asked you if you'd be interested in a video like this and a couple of persons indicated their interest. So I'm bringing you this video to show you how I do my cake photography and I do not use too much, but I'm just going to show you what I use. Although the weather is not great, the weather is not fantastic today, as you can see, the picture is not, the video is not as bright as I would love to, but I will just try and take you through the process. Hopefully, this helps you and gives you and at least some insight into how to take your cake photos. So, without further ado, if you're interested in this video, get something to eat, drink, relax, and I'll be right back. You're welcome back. So, if you're starting out and you don't have all the fancy gadgets, these are the things that I use that I feel that you can use. And if you cannot get them exactly the, the same or substitutes, you can just improvise. So the first thing you need is a phone. Oh, the light is on. <laughs> okay, let's turn that off. So the first thing you need, of course, you need your phone. What I want to do in this video is to show you how to take cake photographs with your phone. So I have my phone. Another thing that I use as well is my cake stand. So I have a cake stand here. I had to invest in it coming here. I had one back at home, but I also had to, you know, I had to get one when I got here because I was at some point taking pictures with just um, my turntable and it wasn't looking too good. It wasn't too professional, but after some time, I just had to, you know, get some, make some investments and then get this wooden cake stand. You don't necessarily have to get this one. Please feel free to do whatever works for you. But this is fine. It's nice for me and I like the wooden look. And so I just got it. So it gives me my cake a professional look. It gives my cake photos a professional look using a cake stand. I have this listed on my Amazon store if you're interested. Now the next thing I use is this piece of clothing. So I use a white cloth. I don't know what material or what fabric this is. I don't know the name of this fabric. But back at home, I used to use bridal satin, so it was white. If you've been following me for a while, you follow me on Instagram and you check my old pictures like all the way back, you will see that I used to just have this white background that I use for my cake pictures. I can even insert pictures right here so that you can see. So these pictures you see were taken with a white background. So I used to use a PVC, a white PVC. I also had a black one, but I majorly used the white PVC. So I'll use my white PVC and also use the bridal satin. It was a white one. So it had this shiny look and shiny effect. But this just like has a matte look and a matte feel. Like I said, I'll need to check if I can find the name. But it's, it's something you can just get. So if a white one, you don't have to get a white one. So it's important that you're consistent with the look and feel of your picture. So if you're using a particular background, some people use gray, some people use black. So every cake they take every make cake they make and take oh it's always in a, on a black background some people it's always on a great background some people it's always on a like a dalmatian kind of print background i've seen that yeah i know a baker or two of them who use this spotter you know so you have this if i can find a picture on pinterest maybe i'll insert it here but feel free to do whatever works for you i just like the white feel i like the white effects maybe i might change some maybe later on but for right now this is what i use so these are all the things you need and added to this you just need an editing app that you can use to do simple editing you don't need too much basically i don't edit my cake pictures too much so without further ado let's go into the parts of this video where i'm going to set up and show you how i take pictures like i said again the weather is so discouraging and i don't even know how my cake pictures will turn out because it's really a struggle when the weather is not bright like this and the sun is not out but I'm going to try my best and see how to make that work, okay? Hi guys. Okay, so this is the practical aspect and this is where I'm taking my, this is where I take my cake photos and this is where I'm taking it today. So I have my background already set up. So this is the white sheet or white fabric, not white sheet, this is the white fabric that I showed you earlier that I use as a background. And I just wanted to show you something practical. So this is the wall right behind me and then I have a window to my right from where i'm standing so it's to my right you can see the reflection on the tv on the tv 
so my window is open right now so the mistake most people make sorry i'm supposed to be looking at so the mistake most people make is that they take pictures in a poorly lit area or in a place where there's no source of lighting like there's no natural light coming in now if i stand back in my window you're going to see that my face will not be as bright as if it was a day when the weather was good you actually understand what i'm saying so what i just do basically is to stand in front of the mirror like so not mirror i stand in front of the window like so and so i have the natural light beaming on me so this is my backdrop let me just adjust this so you can see this is my backdrop this is the white fabric and i have a table down here i have my table already here i'm tapping on it so you can hear so what i just do let me see if i can adjust this so what I just do, sorry about the lines, I've ironed this thing before, if I iron the creases will come back So I'll just lift this, I believe that you can still see, so this is my table, I'll lift this, so I'll lift my fabric like so, and have it like, um, I don't want it straight, I don't usually like to have it straight, so I'll move it close, I'll move this close, Right, you can see that. Oh, it's losing its balance. And then I'll place my kickstand. So this is my kickstand. I'm just gonna place it on the table. I wish I could get all these creases. I really wish I could. So let me just do this now. Maybe I'm gonna iron and come back. I'm I'm not too sure. But let me just do this for the purpose of this video, and then I'll let you. I'll just let you know how I did it. So this is it, and I'm gonna bring my cake. This is my cake right here. Just try to be as careful as possible. So that's it. Just slide it forward a bit. And then I'll go right ahead to take my pictures, which you'll see in a bit. So sometimes you even have to kneel to get the best shots and you can see the picture the video is darker That's because I turned off the lights with the dull weather like this and the yellow lights It's not helping at all. So I'm just gonna take a picture of the cake without the lights I have some just a little light at the background But I think I prefer the natural lighting with the compared to the yellow one It's giving me a kind of tint that I don't like so this is me i'm kneeling down because of the shot i want to get so i want to get some good shots for the cake and then i would wrap up the video all right i'm kneeling down still but i've moved position so that i can get a proper picture i can get another angle of the cake i like to, i like to do close-ups for my cakes it's something i used to do back at home so it's something i'm doing now get close-ups of the cake so that i can use them as carousels when i post so you can actually see the different sides of the cake that's a way of appealing to your customers as well so i'm still taking pictures of the cake i've taken a couple i've done videos as well so i'm still taking so i'll be back so that's the beautiful people thank you so very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you learned something from it please don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well if you have any questions you can drop them in the comments I believe that it's straightforward and with this you can just do what you need to do to take amazing pictures of your cakes if you do not have a great spot for taking pictures within your house you can use you know your garden you can take your cake pictures outside you see people that take pictures outside so you can but make sure that you have a nice and beautiful neat background that you can use and you can also after that edit your cake photos before you upload them on your social media platforms Please don't forget to like this video once again and also subscribe to my channel. Drop me a kind comment. I would love to read your compliments. I would love to read um, if this video added value to you. Please be kind enough to drop a comment. Until I see you in my next video, stay happy, stay safe and stay blessed.